having my tea. Unbelievable. So let's try that again. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tea Talk Tuesday. It is Tuesday, I have my tea and I'm not talking. Uh, it's actually not tea, I'm fooling you guys again, it's coffee. That's why I put it in the coffee mug. Last week it was freaking cold cola and now it's coffee. What will be the next? Milk! I sound so high. I swear to god, I have never done any drugs in my life. Also, the last couple of videos I've made, it just seems like I am on acid or something. Also, I look like someone who goes skiing a lot today. I have not done drugs, I have never been skiing. What, but don't you live in Denmark and isn't it totally close to where you can go skiing? Why should I go somewhere where it's 50 million degrees colder than where I live? Exaggeration 101. By Louise. Lujine31 says, Let's discuss birthdays. It's my birthday this Thursday and growing up is just weird. It hasn't been exciting for years now and this year surely won't be any different. How do I attempt to make my birthday more exciting even though I'm not young anymore? I feel exactly the same way. It's really weird because it has just come with age. It's my birthday this Friday. Woo! <laughs> the thing that I'm mostly excited about is going home to my parents and just chillaxing with them and my brother and then just getting really awesome food. When you're a kid, you just love to get a freaking a new doll or a skateboard or whatever. Now it's just like, uh, I need grown-up stuff. Give me a towel. So I really don't know how to make birthdays more exciting. I'm not that excited about turning 21 because that just makes me realize that I am actually a grown-up and I have to act like a grown-up. Uh, even though <laughs> that's not gonna happen. And you know, just to be honest, grown-up stuff sucks. The next thing I know, I'm just buying a house and a car and whatever, and it's just like, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Chris Mata Game said, Video games you love to play as a kid. I am still completely in love with the Crash Bandicoot series. Those games are just the best games ever, until Naughty Dog, you know, sold the Crash Bandicoot franchise and it became shit. I remember just being so excited about paying like five or six hundred kronas to buy the Crash Nitro cards because I had literally spent all my years up till then just playing Crash Team Racing as much as I freaking could. I freaking bought <laughs> Crash Nitro cards and my brother and I played it for a while and we were like, mm, that's a shit. Just recently I got this feeling that I really wanted to watch some Crash Bandicoot gameplay and I thought everything's on YouTube. So I actually saw Crash Bandicoot 1, 2 and 3 Let's Plays and it was amazing and so nostalgic to just look at it. I actually have a Crash Bandicoot teddy bear that my brother gave me, hold on. Look! Isn't he amazing? Amazing games. If you've never played them, just play them. I think if you have a PlayStation 3, whoever well, has a PlayStation 3 notice. <laughs> Shut up. If you have a PlayStation 3, I think you can buy it in the- oh, I think you can buy them in the PlayStation Store, maybe? But I guess that was about it. Thank you guys for your topics. If you want to leave some questions or suggestions or topics or something, then just leave them in the comments below and I might talk about it next week or the week after that or the week after that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And remember to check out my last two videos. There will be links at the end or down in the description below. Have an awesome week and and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye! And remember to check out a little bit. I am rambling along. Ah! Oh, sorry.